Coach, um, going to Cincinnati, um, all of them just kind of discuss that loss. Um, kind of where you're taking going into this week as well. Well, um, you know, they was uh, we knew they was a good football program. They probably was a little better than we thought they were. Um, they was physical. They was, you know, they was bigger, faster, stronger. Um, they took us to the woodshed, and uh, it's 42 zip at halftime. But what I liked about our guys is they didn't quit. Uh, I made that message at halftime that we was gonna play the next 30 minutes as hard as we could, and uh, you know they made some subs at halftime. But you know they their second team is pretty good too, you know. And so our guys went out and competed against those guys the second half. And of course, they took the opening drive and scored, um, but it took them over seven minutes, and so we made them work for it so that our guys didn't quit. Then we got the ball back on offense and we went down and scored. So I was proud of our guys that uh, they didn't tank it after being down 42 to zip against a good football team on the road in a hostile environment. Their student section in the band was very loud. It was right there uh, at our end and um, it was a great atmosphere. And uh, I'm just proud of our guys that uh, we didn't quit. What does, you know, win or lose, what does playing a program, a group of five program like that do for some of these young guys and some of the older guys as well? Well, it was a great atmosphere. Anytime you get a chance to go on the road and, and play a Power Five team uh, in their place and see that atmosphere, uh, get to measure how you uh, measure up against those guys, uh, and just it's a great opportunity for our young men to be able to play in that atmosphere in that stadium on the big stage. Coach, I know a lot of coaches always have fears about playing playing up, especially for. Uh, for their teams when it comes to injuries. Can you kind of let us know, are you guys nicked up? Um, did you face any major injuries this past week? No, um, you know, it, it was just a regular physical football game. Um, we got bumps and bruises, uh, but no no major injuries. So we're good for this week. Uh, we didn't lose anybody, and that was uh, the number one goal is not to lose anybody uh, for conference play. And so we didn't, we didn't lose anybody. We're, we're pleased about that, and the guys competed. What's the mindset now with the team as they get ready for now the second season um, opening conference play against Southern down in Mobile? Uh, next week, biggest game of the game, uh, biggest game of the season right now. Um, if because it's the next game, it's a conference game. It's actually a home game for us, even though it's at a neutral site. It's a classic, but uh, you know, it's the first home game I ever had to travel five hours for. But anyway, uh, uh, we're excited. We're excited about getting back to conference play. Uh, back to playing at, at our level. We played up last week, and so um, Coach Odom does a great job with those guys down at Southern. He's been doing a great job for the last past four or five years. He's always seemed like he wins six, I mean, seven, eight, nine games a year. And uh, it's usually between him and um, Fobbs uh, to represent that side. And so this will be a great test for us if uh, we can get down here and get off to a good start and get a, a victory against these guys. We know that we can play with anybody in this conference. Do you have a role? Yeah, I, I know Coach Odom. Uh, you know, uh, we, we've met a couple of times and we talked and we all had great conversations and um, he's a good guy and great football coach. And, and so uh, we, we got a personal relationship. What are your thoughts about neutral site games? Uh, it's the next game. It's the next game. To me, it, it really don't matter uh, uh, if it's home, away, neutral site. You know, I got to get my guys prepared regardless. And uh, it, it's just a matter of travel then how you're going to travel and things of that nature, where you're going to eat at and how much rest you're going to get. Um, but, you know, once they kick off, you, you don't, you know, it's just 100-yard football field. Coach, now offensively on paper, you guys seem to stack up pretty well against each other. What are you guys got to plan to do to maybe separate yourselves from each other? Uh, we just got to take care of ourselves. You know, offensively, like you say, uh, if we keep spreading around offensively with uh, the running backs and the wide receivers, try to stay balanced, run pass. Um, that that would be the, in our best option is to uh, where they won't be able to just pin back the ears and rush us or, or blow the box and stop the run if we can stay balanced and continue doing what we've been doing. Defensively, we uh, got to fly around, limit the big plays, and uh, tackle a little bit better. Uh, we didn't tackle very well last week in space, and so we need to tackle in space and limit the big plays, and we have a great opportunity to win this football game. Well, we got to contain him. You know, we got to contain him. Uh, uh, make it tough on him uh, when he's going to throw it. We got to get pressure on him. And uh, at the D line, we got to keep contained. The outside guys got to stay outside to force him 
keep them in the pocket. And then we got to get pressure from the in interior guys, and then it just collapses the pocket on them. So we can't have these big gaps. This guy run, and then this guy don't get no pressure, and then he's just going to scoot right through. So um, you kind of face that. Now you're going to get the dual threat quarterback, pretty much whoever you play. So um, again, we got to tackle in space. If he gets out, you know, we got to tackle him and uh, get him down. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. You know, I kind of sent a message that, look, that game is over with. Um, you know, we got our money. We're healthy. Now let's get ready to play conference play. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. You know, it was about a money game and us staying healthy. And we did both of those. We got the money and we healthy. So now um, let's go down to Mobile 100%, ready to uh, give 110% effort. Um, short term memory, first of all, uh, just forget about last week. Uh, this week's goal is, is uh, to be 1 0, um, to play um, Bulldog football, uh, be good on the defense side of the ball, and obviously that would be good on the offense side of the ball. Yeah, Coach was talking a little bit about how you guys like to make sure you're really tough. I know you're kind of a leader on the defense. Tell me about what you guys are going to do as far as stopping the dual threat quarterback. Um, Basically, um, just containing. Uh, if we contain well, I, I believe that we'll be we'll be in good shape. Um, being gapped out, um, making them throw the ball, I believe that will be will be okay for the defense. feel any weight. Um, I just feel that I just need to play um, like I've been playing for the past couple of years. Um, just being the leader on the defense. Um, just trusting everybody to do their job, you know, and I believe that it will be fine. It will be uh, successful. What's the mood kind of of this locker room heading into this week, this game? Um, you know, played the SWAC games before, but with some of the younger guys that haven't, just what's the mentality? Um. A lot of guys haven't experienced, you know, this type of, uh, you know, this type of game, you know, and this is actually the first um, Gulf Coast Challenge, I believe it is. Um, I think it'll, it'll, um, it'll give the younger, uh, the younger guys a, um, a good experience uh, compared to last week. I know last week was a great experience for the younger guys who never experienced that, you know, that atmosphere before. But um, other than that, locker room should be. Pretty serious. Uh, we all the same goal, which is to be one and zero, uh, and to start off our our, um, our run to be under uh, undefeated in the swag. Do you feel that you and your teammates are going to be much more hungrier now as a team, especially since swag play is kicking off and it's basically the second season now? Oh yeah, no doubt. Um, we all have the same goal: is to be you know, undefeated in the swag. Um, like I said, we just had to take it one game at a time, um, one opponent at a time. Um, just treat every week like it's championship week. I say. <laughs> I got a question for you. What, what's some of the things uh, after playing at Cincinnati? Uh, physical game, obviously, bigger school, bigger athletes, the whole nine, what's some of the things you can take from playing against Cincinnati and carrying it over to the first conference game, knowing that you want to get off to a, a good conference start? Um, focusing on the little things, uh, we uh, broke down film, and now we are deciding on what we need to work on. And for right now, it's mostly our, uh, our front, because that's where it starts. And so we're focusing on uh, D-line right now. I am so excited. I can't wait till we touch down in the city. It is going to be so exciting. This game I'm looking forward to right now. So is your hometown, is that more pressure on you to perform? I believe not, because it's supposed to be.
It's supposed to be something I'm, I'm supposed to have. I'm supposed to have this feeling, this gut, this ah, these butterflies. Something I'm looking forward to. Hey, what were your thoughts and feelings when you first found out that a and was going to be playing Southern down in Mobile a couple uh, months ago when they made that announcement? I thought it was crazy. I was like, man, they going to take me to my city? It's just, it was uh, very heartwarming. I'm, I'm just glad to come back home and play in that wonderful stadium again. Now, this upcoming Saturday, when you play in that wonderful stadium, you'll be taking on a Southern University team, um, a team that has been, you know, a contender in the West. Talk about the challenges of facing them. Of course, Coach talked about um, them having a dual threat quarterback. Mm -hmm. So you being a leader on the defense, what's some of the mentality and mindsets that's going forward to trying to uh, shut these guys down? Um, for most of all, we got to contain. That's our main goal right now. We've noticed in a lot of a lot of things that we need to, uh, that involves our edges, and that's what we're going to focus on this week. Keep them in that pocket and throw it. As far as it being a conference game, how much bigger is it for you and your teammates, knowing that this is the second season, you guys got a goal to try to be undefeated in the SWAC? It's very, uh, I would say, very important because this is the foundation right now. This is the SWAC play. This is the most important. I would say, and we're we're just excited, really excited to start the season off. Um, Yurik, uh, you know, with Mobile being so close to Baton Rouge, um, is there anyone on that Southern team that you know maybe played against at any point or anything? Mm, it might be one guy, but nah, I'm, I just can't remember his name. But uh, no. That means it's a bulldog city. Sorry, Marty's. <laughs> you guys good? What's the, uh, what's the excitement level for you? Um, potentially, this is the last time you'll play Southern. Um, being able to play them maybe one final time in your senior season. Just, uh, you know, what's your mindset going in? And for some of the younger guys, what can you tell them? Oh, for these last three weeks, we've been putting one thing in their head, dog mentality. That's it. That's the only thing. Anytime they come up to me, I'm like, hey, man, you just got to have that dog in you. That's it. That bulldog. Bring it out of you. What do you think it's going to take to win this game? To win this game? Mm -hmm. um, I would say we're going to have to get off blocks. We're going to have to uh, use our hands. We're going to... It really starts with our D-line. I'm going to bring it back to that, because that's where it's going to start. And for us right now, we have a, a little difficulty, but we're working on that. Um, and that's it. Yuri, what's your thoughts on uh, playing in either in a classic type game or also in a neutral site game? What, what are your thoughts about that? Coach said he's just trying to make it like it's another game. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's all you can do. I mean, you can't put too much pressure on it, and you can't down it too much. You just got to treat it like every other game. like. Like like we said, we at the beginning of this week, we're gonna go one and zero. It just so happens to be a conference game, though. Just so happens, it's hey, not their fault. <laughs>